popular YouTube. So it's quite well documented that uh, the way you hold your springer, usually they recommend to hold it with the artillery hold because it's hold sensitive, the springer. So today we're going to do an experiment. We're going to see if a PCP or if a CO2 rifle is as hold sensitive. So let's test it out. Let's see how it goes. So to make this experiment as accurate as possible, what I've done is I've got a target set up, we're about 13 yards or so out. I'm going to be using a JSB Hades pellets, so probably the most expensive and uh, most accurate pellets that I've got. What we're going to do, we're going to take three shots, I'm just going to hold the gun loosely, and uh, it's just resting here on a, on a bag. and. Uh, we're going to take that three shots at the top target, then we're going to take three shots at the bottom target, but then I'm going to hold it a bit tight against my body and let's see if there's a difference in uh, where the, the grouping is. Alright, so let's get going. First going to take three shots at the top target, just holding the gun loosely. First one, first one. All right, so last one at the top target, just holding the gun loosely. Right, so pretty nice group there. Now what we're going to do, again three shots. However, this time what we're going to do, we're going to be shooting at the bottom target. And uh, we're going to be holding the gun a bit tighter. And let's see if it makes a difference. First one it is a little bit difficult to shoot like this, um, but I still want to be able to show you where where the, the gun is being aimed. Right, so what I'm doing now, I'm pulling the gun tightly against my shoulder. Whereas the first one you saw that uh, I was holding the gun very loosely. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go have a look down at the targets now, now and we'll see if there's a difference in, the, in our point of impact with the different holes on the gun. What I'm going to just do, just as a last uh, interesting aspect I've seen quite a few guys putting the um, bipods on their barrels in front so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna pull this gun back and I'm gonna put the barrel rest the barrel there on the, the bag and let's see what difference that makes to our point of impact and uh, I think this is gonna make quite a big difference I'm gonna be shooting at the top target now Alright, so you'll see now when I get the target, definitely makes a big difference. 
Right, so here you can see here's our target so the first three shots that we took was on this one and uh, as you can see we slightly uh, let's say about uh, five millimeters that we under the center there our grouping center of our grouping so um, nice grouping there not too bad then the bottom target you'll actually see our point of impact has actually shifted up slightly so if we take uh, the center of the group we're probably about one or two millimeters underneath the center there so definitely we can see a slight uh, change in the point of impact just by the way we hold the gun so most definitely if we're looking at uh, co2 rifles versus springers they are also hold sensitive probably not as hold sensitive as a springer but definitely still hold sensitive and then i just want to show you our last shot here this was what happened this was the shot when uh, I put the barrel on the bags. So there you can see a massive point of impact shift there. And that's over, say, 13 meters. So I imagine that over 25 meters is going to be even more than that. So definitely, if you want to put your bipod or whatever on your, on your barrel, you're going to have to adjust your your scope completely and every time you remove it you're gonna to have to adjust your scope again so just bear that in mind um, I wouldn't advise putting a bipod on the barrel so rather put it on uh, somewhere else on the gun underneath the stock right so interesting uh, experiment that we've done today you definitely you can see that there is a point of impact shift if we uh, if we are changing our hold on the rifle.